right, and show the garbage that's right out there. So shooters, come on guys, don't dump your garbage, pick it all up. We even have a big dumpster right here and we picked up somebody's shade thing. Yeah, they just left it out they here. Left it out. There's a couch out there. It doesn't make sense to shoot that thing, so anyways. Especially like when we have a dumpster that's clearly marked and ready for anybody to use. Yeah, this is none of our stuff. Another reason to shoot steel. Well, especially when you get steel so affordably now. Howdy folks, so I don't really love doing these types of videos, but I wanted to just put it out there just because we gotta, as shooters, we gotta be better because I know there's lots of anti-gun people who would just love to get rid of our public shooting areas. And the one of the ways to preserve those public shooting areas and the ability to shoot on public land or BLM land is to clean up after ourselves. And so I, I guess I ask of my viewers, uh, you, you don't have to be from Utah or anything, but if you tend to leave stuff when you shoot, I ask you that you try to remember to pick that stuff up and take it with you. And if you're a pretty clean shooter and you always pick up your own stuff, I just ask that you, when, you, when you're picking up your stuff, that you pick up a few extra things. And that's one of the things that me and Evan and Joe and uh, my shooting buddies try and do is to, you know, we can't cl clean up all of it, but if we pick up a few extra pieces of garbage every time we go shooting, then it at least helps. So anyways, uh, I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and don't forget to pick up your trash and maybe some other people's garbage. Yeah.